Hello guys and welcome to an Urban Viking Ale review. Okay, um, today's beer is going to be an American beer. Um, well, it's from America, but it's a Belgian style American beer. It's from Goose Island and it's called Matilda. Okay, pretty basic label there with a nice italic font. Okay, Goose Island beer from Chicago, um, 7%, best enjoyed in a broad mouth glass, uh, brewed and bottled by the Goose Island Beer Company. Um, yeah, lovely. Not too much I was on it. Uh, ingredients, water, hops, malted barley, yeast and granulated beet sugar. Yeah. Uh, doesn't really say anything other than that. This one was bottled in uh, October 2010, so um, you know I don't know if there's a if it'll make much difference and if you know if it being a fresh beer or not. But it does stay on here. Uh, flavour will continue to develop over five years. So depending if I like this or not, I might get another bottle and then um, age it. See how we go. Okay, broadmouth glass. BB Barfly. Bottle cap, nice little goose. Yeah, get that probably. Okay, lovely. Now then, I've got to be a bit more aware because when I've been doing my videos in the past, I've had a dog barking in the background. It's a neighbour's dog, and I've never really noticed it. So I'm having a little listen tonight, and I can't hear it. And um, I think I've had a uh, one comment telling me to shoot it, but <laughs> I haven't really noticed it until then. Anyway, let's get this in a glass. Okay, Belgian style. Let's give it a go. Right, as you can see, it's a, a very lovely colour, nice looking beer. Uh, sort of a murky golden brown texture like the sun, you know. Right then, let's give it a sniff. That actually went up my nose. <laughs> oh god, I've got, I've got to stop sniffing too near the glass. Okay, I'm getting um, a very Belgian style smell on this. Um, it's almost like a really strong wheat beer, like a hoe garden or something like that. Um, a lot of wheat, big amounts of bread, a lot of coriander, hell of a lot of coriander. And some slight, um, maybe like a, a white grape or something like that. Okay, right, let's give this a go. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow, that's nice. Mmm. It's like, um, it's very similar to the, um, actually no it's not. I was going to say it's, it's quite similar to the, uh, to the Trappist 6 I had ages ago. But it starts off quite bready and, um, and wheaty and stuff like that. But then it just, um, just sort of like merges into this lovely smooth creamy citrus. Oh, it's, oh this is really nice stuff. Oh, that's good. See if I can get some more flavours off that. Oh, sorry, I'm enjoying it and I'm not really paying attention. Okay. Getting a sort of like a burnt orange in that as well. Um, almost like an unsweetened um, mango. Yeah, like a mango. A dried, a dried mango flavour as well. Um, slightly alcoholic. It gives you a little bit of warming as it goes down. But it's got such a really nice, smooth, clean finish. It starts off like when you first initially taste it, you think it's going to be one of those big, heavy jobs that just stick around and stick around. But 
That's really good stuff. I really like this. That's really nice. See, sometimes I tend to chill a lot of my bottles of beer, even if it's for half an hour or stuff like that. And I get told off for that. I've been told, you know, have them at room temperature because it, um, when you obviously put the colder you have them, it tends to um, lessen the oils, so you don't get the full potential of the flavours. This one has been sitting on the side, out of the sunlight, and it's glorious. Oh, the flavours are amazing. So I'm I'm really glad I didn't put this one in the fridge. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna be getting this one again, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can keep it for a couple of years. I'll have to forget it's there or something. I probably won't find it for about another ten years. Um, really, really nice. Okay, it says it's got a lot of sediment on the bottle. Um, can't really see any on the glass, which is which is good. Right, let's give it one more gulp, and I'll see if I can get any more flavours for you. Whoops, hang on. Getting a slight, um, almost like a cider smell on that. Now that I've gone sort of halfway down. But the flavours are just totally different to the smell. The more you drink it, the lighter it gets as well. And um, the alcohol tends, it just disappears now. I can't taste any alcohol. All I'm tasting now is a very light, fruity beer. That's good. That is really nice stuff. Uh, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Matilda. Goose Island's Matilda. Well done, America. Fuck yeah! <laughs> See you again soon for an open bike and hour review. Cheers.